So let's look at these first few examples of multiplication. Moving on in this section. When I have 1 half times 2, I'm looking at 2 divided by 2, which is 1. What about for part B again? Straight across the top, straight across the bottom, what results out? 1. If I switch the order around, it doesn't matter. We're going to get the same thing as part A. 2 over 2, which is 1. Same thing divided by the same thing. Even if I have a decimal inside of a fraction, it's funny feeling, but what is it equivalent to? 1. So, in each of these cases, their products are equal to 1. Such numbers are called reciprocals. We've seen them before in that review chapter when we were talking about division. Another word for reciprocals is the multiplicative inverses. Because inverses always give you out the identity. If you multiply something times its inverse, and the multiplicative identity is 1 every single time. So, the inverse, or the multiplicative um, inverse, reciprocal, that's the other word, of 1 half is 2. And the reciprocal of 2 is 1 half. We can go back and forth between the two. So, two numbers whose product is 1 are called reciprocals, or multiplicative inverses of each other. For example, if a is not equal to 0, the reciprocal of a is 1 over that number. The reciprocal of 1 over the number is the number itself, a. So, the reciprocal of a non-zero number, a, b, is what? Flipping it upside down. b over a. So, we interchange the role of numerator and denominator. The reciprocal of a number has the same sign as the number itself. So, if I have positive number, a over b, it's reciprocal, b over a is also positive. The sign doesn't change. We have the same sign. So let's work through the chart together. 2 over 11, its opposite, think back to a previous section, is what? Negating it, so 2 over 11. But the reciprocal of the original number is what? Flipping it upside down. 11 over 2. So, same sign. The reciprocal is always the same sign. The opposite is always the opposite. Negative 4 ninths. Its opposite is going to be positive. And the reciprocal of this negative number is going to be negative 9 over 4. Flipping it upside down. What about 0? What's its opposite? Is it positive or negative? Nah. And its reciprocal? doesn't really have one, since I can't do 1 over 0, because that's undefined. So it doesn't, it doesn't have a reciprocal. What about a decimal? Negative 7.9. Its opposite is positive. And its reciprocal, again, of the original number, not of the opposite, is 1 over that negative 7.9. And we could simplify what it actually is, but you get the idea. If I multiply them together, I get out positive 1. And what about 1? Its opposite is negative. And what about its reciprocal? So I've got 1 over the number, but really, what is that? 1. So it's its own reciprocal, which is kind of cool, kind of unique. So give the next chart a try. Fill in. Give me the opposite and the reciprocal. So what is the opposite of 1 ninth? Negative 1 ninth. Reciprocal of that is 9 over 1, but we want to simplify. Anything divided by 1 is just itself. Opposite of negative 2 seventeenths is going to be positive. And again, the reciprocal looks at the original number, flipping it upside down. Negative 17 over 2. Opposite of negative 1 is a positive 1. We've seen that before. And its reciprocal is also negative 1. And then what about this example? We haven't seen variables in any of these cases yet, but it still behaves just the same. Negative for the opposite, and the reciprocal, we just flip it upside down. 2y over 3x. But what has to happen in these cases? The first one, y can't be equal to 0. 
because we're dividing by zero, neither can it there. And, and then looking at the reciprocal, x cannot be equal to zero. So we don't know what x and y are, but we know what they can't be. We can never divide by zero. So we've discussed multiplying by the reciprocal when we were talking about division in that review chapter. But much like addition and subtraction, I can write subtraction like adding an opposite. So two minus a number is really like two plus minus that number, the opposite. So same story. We can divide by multiplying by a reciprocal. We've seen it before, and you, again, a little summary in that box. For any real numbers, a and b, I can rewrite the division, a divided by b, as a times the reciprocal of b, 1 over that thing. And we'll use that from time to time. Sometimes it's easier to solve an equation by multiplying by the reciprocal. And in some cases, like decimal notation, it's easier just to carry out the long division than to multiply by the reciprocal. Because if I'm looking at dividing by decimal, then I have 1 over a decimal that I'm multiplying by. It's just easier to carry out the long division and see what you have. All right. So we've discussed briefly how we can assign a negative in a number. So looking in that box, sign changes in fraction notation. Negative a over negative b is equivalent to what? How could I rewrite that form in a different way? Negative divided by negative gives me a positive. And then what about for number 2? If I have negative a over positive b, how else could I rewrite that number? So I could either say, again, we can assign a negative to either the top or to the bottom. Right now it's given to the top, so I could also give it to the bottom, and that's equivalent, or I could throw it right out front. They all mean the same thing. So being able to jump between those uh, equivalent forms of a number are very important. So on the next page, find equal expressions for each number with negatives in different places. So move it around, but make sure it's still equivalent in every single step. So in the first example, 5 is negative. What else could I do with that negative? I can give it out front to the number as a whole, or I can assign it to negative 6 down below. Same thing with part B. How else could you write it? negative 10 over 3, or out front, negative 10 thirds. All of those are equivalent. We only have one option for C, though. What is it? How can I rewrite 1 7th with negatives? I would have to negate both of them, because negative divided by negative is positive. Awesome.